Hello and welcome back. For this video, we'll talk about negative exponents. Before we begin with negative exponents, we're going to start off with what a positive exponent and compare it to a negative. So let's say you have n to the third power, and how is that different from n to the negative third power? First and most common mistake is to think that this number right here is going to be negative because of the exponent being negative. That's not true. If you put a negative out in front of your number like this, that could make the number negative. But just because the exponent itself is negative does not necessarily mean that the number is going to be negative. The one thing you need to know about negative exponents, they really mean reciprocals. Okay, so a reciprocal means we're going to flip this thing over. So if I have n to the negative third power, what it really means is 1 over n to the positive third power show you an example here with some numbers. Let's say I have 2 to the third power, and of course 2 to the third power is equal to 8, but then I have 2 to the negative third power. Well, that's equal to 1 over 2 to the positive third power, which is equal to 1 over 8. So 2 to the third power is 8, but 2 to the negative third power is the reciprocal of that, which is 1 over 8. And you notice how the number 1 over 8 is still positive. Now, some students make some mistakes when we say reciprocal here in terms of positioning. Quite often we want our problems written with uh, positive exponents. So let's say I have n to the negative 2 power times a to the third over c to the negative fourth power. So this is just an expression that has some variables in it. It's got a quotient because it looks like a fraction or division problem. But usually we want to get rid of the negatives this right here. We don't want that to be a negative exponent. We don't want that to be a negative exponent. Well, the quickest way to undo that is to change the position. So if n to the negative 2 is in the numerator here, its reciprocal means n to the positive 2 will be in the denominator of the same problem. Then I'm going to bump the a to the third over. I don't change that one because it's already got a positive 3. But if I want to change this one back into a positive exponent, I simply bring it up to the top. So the reciprocal of that would be put it in the numerator. So I end up having a to the third, c to the fourth, or times c to the fourth, all over n to the second. And it turns out that this expression is mathematically equivalent to this, this expression. The only difference is this one over here now does not contain negative exponents. So you have to know what the accepted way of showing your things are with or without negative exponents. 